The first is Mr. O'Leary. Welcome again. Well, uh, hey, Commissioners. Good to see you again. <clears throat> um, ladies and gentlemen, uh, everybody in this room, I'd like to ask how, how in the hell did we get here where we are? How in the world is a society? Did we get thrown so far into the depths of hell that we have to stand here and discuss whether we're even going to put it on the agenda as a public hearing, whether or not to put industrial chemical waste in our water supply. Folks, it's a no-brainer. How did we get to the point where we were duped into being, uh, being talked into putting this chemical waste into our water supply? I'll tell you how it happened. It's very simple how it happened. It's called deception. We were lied to. We were hoodwinked. The federal government lies, well, when I, let me put it this way. When I was young and naive and I was like 14 or 15, I figured the gov gov government lied about half of what they talked about. It wasn't until I was 45 that I realized that I was completely wrong. They lied about 100% of what they say. Uh, fluoride is not even good as a topical from what I'm hearing. And it's definitely not good internal. And why we have to have a discussion of why we put industrial waste in our water is beyond me. Uh, I'd have to blame, of all, the master of deception himself, Lucifer. That's what we're looking at, ladies and gentlemen. I don't mean to get biblical on you, but I'm going to get a little biblical on you. We have been deceived by the devil himself, or we wouldn't be sitting here wondering whether we should put this stuff in our water, when it's obvious you don't put poison in the water supply. We have 140,000 people we have to take care of. As leaders, as leaders, we need to tend the flock and tend the sheep, not thin the herd. Uh, I'm just going to read a real quick thing here from uh, Ephesians um, uh, 11 and 12. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principal, principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. That's why we're wondering whether or not we should put poison in our water supply. Folks, listen up. Whether or not you're Christian or Jewish or, or of any religion or atheist, think about it. How did we get to this point, wondering whether we should poison our water? If you're of any religion whatsoever, just pray and feel what's in your heart and figure out what's going on here, why we are here. And I'd like to ask that it be put on for a public hearing. Thank you. Thank you.